All right, everybody, welcome back here at halftime. We've got about 12 minutes left before the second half here at Perkins Field. And we have a special guest in the press back box. Uh, it's Ace Athletic Director Josh McClendon. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing well tonight. How are you? I'm good. Congratulations on the playoff win today. Of course, my girls, Brooke and Caitlin, play for you on the uh, varsity softball team. And uh, we defeated Dublin today, and we're going to be moving on. Any idea who we might face? Yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it's going to be Jeff Davis. Okay, who we've already played. Played the very first game of the year this year. That's right. So, either way, uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, but I uh, want to talk a little more about uh, things we've got going on athletically here at Ace. We've got this brand new field. Uh, tell us about that. Uh, what went into getting this project done? You know, this was a this was a long time coming. This field, you know, we did a great job maintaining it, but the wear and tear that it took because it's just being used year round uh, between soccer and football in our PE classes. Uh, this was really a, an idea a couple of the board members had, along with myself, Coach Hatcher, uh, and really Pat Kelly. We couldn't have got it done without uh, just a group effort and very thankful to have it. It's a top-of-the-line uh, turf field. Everybody's talking about how well it plays and how it doesn't hurt when you can tackle like a lot of the turf fields do, especially the older turf. So this new turf, uh, it's just been really, really good. It's a blessing, and, and it's great to have it for the school and for the, for the athletic department. Yeah, you know, I, I do a radio show, Creekside Sports, on 100.9 here in Macon, and we had Bryce Whitley on on Monday, and I asked him, I said, can you, how much of a difference can you tell between this field and the old field? And he said, oh, man. He said, I, I, I'm faster on this field. You know, and then he's already fast enough. Um, he said, yeah, the players love it. Yeah. It's, it's, better, it's actually better on their bodies as well. I think so. You know, I, I think a lot of people have a negative uh, view on turf because, you know, the stigma out there about, you know, injuries. But I think it, you've got to talk about what type of turf you have. The old Astro turf from 20, 25 years ago, uh, I, I could get on board with that. But this turf, uh, it plays like grass, the newer technology that, that goes into it. So it's a great surface to play on, and we'll do a great job. We've got a, a contract to kind of keep it updated uh, year by year, uh, basically a maintenance plan, if you will. So we're going to keep this thing in, in tip-top shape and keep our athletes safe. And, uh, yeah, that's great. And, and I also wanted to ask you about, you know, kind of the state of ACE athletics. I mean, as you see it, um, of course, we've got this beautiful field and, and we have competitive teams. Is there anything coming up in the next year or two we can look forward to? Well, you know, we're really excited about starting our wrestling program. Uh, that is on the horizon. They actually uh, will kick off practice this coming week. Uh, and, and we're excited to see what Coach Sal, uh, who came over from, from Southwest, actually, and he's in our social studies department, but he does a great job. He's really excited and has built a lot of interest in our wrestling program. So we're excited about that as a new sport kicking off. Of course, our volleyball team is in the Sweet 16 tomorrow. We'll host that here at 2 o'clock. We're excited about volleyball. That's still a relatively new sport here. I think we're in year four of playing varsity volleyball. Uh, so, you know, as you mentioned earlier, the Sweet 16 for the girls' softball team next week. So we're really excited about where we're at. We want to continue to build the programs that we have. And then if we have an opportunity to add a sport like wrestling, uh, you know, we're excited about doing that and continue to expand and to grow. You know, we, uh, we named the field after Laura Perkins, uh, who retired after this past year. Uh, talk about what Laura Perkins meant to you uh, working here at Ace. Oh, gosh, Miss Perkins, I, I can't say enough good things about her. I've worked for a lot of people in my career, and, and I, say, I don't say this lightly, but I think that Miss Perkins has been my, my favorite boss, my best boss, a huge supporter of, of athletics. She was a huge supporter of me personally, and, and I can't thank her enough for everything that she meant to me and she meant obviously to the school. You know, I look at I look out at the field and, and the homecoming that we had last week as well and I just said, you know, man, where would where would we be if we didn't have Miss Perkins and Miss Stokes and their vision for this school and uh, well deserved for her to have, have her name on this field um, and excited to, you know for, for that to be permanent as we move on into the future without her. And you know Miss Relier is taking her place and she's doing a great job. I think we've had a seamless transition and um, excited to work for her and see see where we go in the future. So, um, yeah, that, that's great. I appreciate that. Um, one other thing I wanted to ask about is talk about Dan Tyner and the band and, and what they mean to athletics. I mean, sometimes that gets lost, but we've actually got a decent band that wins awards. 
And uh, Dan Tyner, I mean, you can speak to it. I mean, he's done a great job. Uh, you're correct. Dan has done a great job. Uh, the band is fantastic. I'll tell you, I love the band. I think they make Friday night what it is, along with the lights and the, and the cheerleaders. But without the band, then that, that would be kind of a missing piece for us. You know, I'm a big Georgia fan as well. and go to a lot of the games at Sanford Stadium. love the Red Coat Marching Band. and I just love what they do. You know, I don't get to see a lot of the halftime shows because I have a lot of other responsibilities right. here on Friday night. But they actually performed after the game last Friday uh, with the homecoming game. And I was able to watch the halftime or the, the end of game performance, and they did a fantastic job. I was super impressed. There's a lot of talent in that department. You know, uh, that brings up another point. We had the uh, East Lawrence game, the homecoming game, moved due to the hurricane, and that's not an easy thing to do, getting something like that moved. There's a lot of moving parts there. But, uh, I mean, I have to guess that East Lawrence was easy to work with on that. They were. We were very fortunate that we both had a bye week last week, and that is what was able to make that happen. I'm glad that we moved it. The hurricane ended up doing a lot of damage on the eastern side of the state, as you know. I believe people uh, in Dublin were affected way more than we were. Definitely, definitely. I think that they were out of school for over a week after wow. the storm. So, and some of those people around Dublin, the Soperton area, I've got family over there, they just got power back this week, some of those people. Oh. So, uh, they've definitely, it's been a long recovery, and we they're all in our thoughts and prayers, and especially those in Augusta and the other parts of the state in North Carolina. So, um, anyway, uh, but, yeah, getting that moved was a big deal, and glad it worked out. Well, co well Coach, I call you Coach. I, I, I really appreciate you uh, coming up here and, and uh, giving us a – state of the school uh, as far as athletics we appreciate it we appreciate all that you do and and uh, one thing i wanted to ask you real quick uh talk about the support you get not just from the parents but from uh, i know we have donors that don't want their names out there uh but talk about the support you get because as an athletic director i mean you can't get anything done without you know without a lot of support Definitely, and I'll tell you, Middle Georgia, there's not a school, I think, that is more well-supported than ACE. Uh, the community has bought into what we're doing here. Um, Coach Hatcher does a great job in the Office of Development, and we can't thank our donors and sponsors enough. What you see out here tonight and, and the growth that we've been able to have in the last 10 years is, is all because of the support that we receive, and we're excited about the future because of that support. I think that uh, we're only going to go up from here. All right, well, Coach, once again, thank you for joining me. Thank I appreciate it. Me. We're coming up here on the second half. JT will be back in the press box with me in a couple minutes, and we'll have the second half here at Perkins Field for this game, this region game between the Southwest Patriots and your Ace Griffins. Give us a couple minutes. We'll be back for the second half. <laughs> 